Hey guys, the objective for this video is to find the hydraulic gradient in our flow net. So once again, here's our flow net, and we're going to be finding the hydraulic gradient at point B. So in the past, we know that the hydraulic gradient, which is sometimes abbreviated by the symbol I, is equal to the change in head on the change in length. Okay, and for the examples we've done in the previous videos, it's been quite easy. So say, for example, we saw we had a cylinder. And we had a total head change. So we could work out the head at that point at that point, And we could find DH, the change in head. And then we would just measure or we would just see the, the length. And that would be just the change in length. And it would be very easy to find. But for a flow net, it's not so simple. We don't have such simple shapes. We've got these... Um, curved linear squares and we've got funny stuff going on. So the formula is the same. The hydraulic gradient is now equal to um, the change in little h over the change in little l. So it's, it's a change in head over change in length. And this is per uh, curved linear square. So it's per square. So the hydraulic gradient is going to change at every single square because you're going to be getting different changes in length. So the first thing we can find is change in H, which is easy. We've found that before. That's just the head drop from EP to EP. So this change in H and that change in H. So the change in H from in every...